tell you a bit about myself. I was born in Bolton in 1972. My childhood years came from a poor family, like most families in Bolton. Came from a single parent background. A young mum, one of four children, all different dads. Lived with my nan and aunties. And mum eventually married a man who became my stepdad. My life changed. My stepdad was very violent to me. He used to hit me and attack me. And my stepfather rejected me and had me put into care. I lacked in education. I was then placed into foster parents. But eventually, whilst I was in the foster parents, I ended up with the wrong crowd. I kept running away. I was in trouble with the police, sleeping on the streets. Eventually, I found myself in youth custody. This led to prison. I left prison and I went to a homeless shelter. And the lowest point of my life was finding my brother lying dead through addiction to drugs and heroin. But my life-changing moment was when my son was born. I decided I wanted to get away from the life that I was living. And I moved to the seaside of Blackpool. I wanted to support my new family. I had a vision. I spotted a gap in the market. I started from nothing. I didn't have anything. But I formulated a structured approach. I believed in myself. I wanted to support my family. And what I thought was needed to start a business, I thought I needed lots of cash, computers, a big office. But what I really needed was a car boot, a bucket, a sponge. But with ambition and determination and self-respect and for others, I was able to develop from nothing a car cleaning business. Years passed by and I reflected on how far I had progressed from a humble beginning. Employing local people, 320 young people I supported. I built a profitable business, supported my family, social respectability, respect and pride. Awarded numerous awards, Business of the Year in the North and West Lancashire, recognised for the national awards. That was my story. And now I believe that all young people deserve opportunities to succeed and to be proud of their personal achievements. And we aim to provide young people with an individual pathway to succeed and flourish, to receive coaching and guidance, to achieve recognised qualifications, which will in turn support their future life and employability.